Oh, we're filming now? What the? You should have told me. <laughs> What's going on electric enthusiasts? This is Julian and this video we will go over the helmets I compared in the last month from Amazon and which I favor the most. Uh, before we dive into it, hit the subscribe button below for more content. Uh, links for all the helmets are also located in the description below. Alright, to start off, for reference, I am a, uh, well I'm a Laker fan. Uh, game 4 is tonight, go Lakers in the finals. And my my cap size is seven and a quarter. Alrighty, so first and foremost, I want to mention the Rock Bros uh, bike helmet that we have here. It has a optional visor, optional sun shield. This one comes tinted. It's black, obviously, and it's very lightweight. I love the ventilation. It has a very minimalistic style, and it's only thirty dollars. Really easy. Just snaps on in place. This is the side view. It's adjustable right here. Very minimalistic. If you plan on just riding on mountain bike and never on the streets, you don't need a DOT certified helmet. It's a very nice aerodynamic look and it's also uh, very lightweight. The, the one thing that I don't like about this though, uh, the magnetic, I think sometimes it's not, it doesn't cling on as, uh, it's not as sturdy and it's fallen off once already in one of my rides. So just keep that in mind that uh, when you're placing it, that it's there pretty nice and tight. So if it's a super hot day and you don't plan on biking at fast speeds, this helmet is uh, the easiest to put on. And this is what I normally wear on off-roading and uh, mountain biking. Moving on to the next helmet. This is the Scorpion Covert Helmet and it weighs four pounds and it is DOT certified to ride on the streets. This is a popular choice because it's a 3 4 helmet. It has, it has multiple style options. This is the ventilations. Um, ventilates just fine. Try that on. That's how it would look. These side views have uh, the removable clips right here. So it just comes off like that. The uh, one thing that I kind of want to mention on this helmet is that um, this part is pretty flimsy. So I'm not sure how much protection, you can see how bendy it is. I'm not sure how much protection you'll have. It's not advertised to protect the front of your face, but this is the option you get. You get a lot of ventilation. It doesn't really uh, fog up while you're exercising on the road. Snaps on just like that. I prefer the uh, clear visor. Uh, the good thing about this is it comes with both. So the black visor is just in the box. And again, I prefer the clear visor so that I can ride it at night. This is the side view. Feels pretty solid. I have good neck range motion. It's $210, give or take. Moving on to the next helmet. This is a $65 by OneStorm. It's also DOT certified. And it has ventilations up in the top for closing, opening. It doesn't have any on the sides, but it does have one here also as well in the front. And what I like about this, it's, it's their modular version, meaning um, it has a flip-up front face. The, uh, the latch for the front face would be like, would be this bottom button right here. So it flips on like that. And it's a lot easier for people to put on versus other masks. You can wear it with a top down. It has a clear visor. And it also has, it also has like the an inner visor, so I could wear it like this if I wanted. It keeps the air in, so you get a little more ventilation that way. So this weighs in at four pounds as well. One thing I do notice is that when you have everything down, such as your visor, it does fog up on this hot sunny day when you're exercising. That I notice when I'm e-biking. Okay, moving on. The last helmet that I have is by ILM. This is runs about. $80 on Amazon and it's also obviously DOT certified and it looks like it's the smallest helmet that I have in my collection and making it very lightweight so I haven't really weighed this but it's definitely lighter than the four pounds that I have so it's, I imagine it's gonna be three three pounds give or take this is how it would look 
put it on. It'll be fairly easy. Clips like this. The side view. And this is your neck range of motion. Just like the Scorpion helmet, this has a removable front mask. The, map, the front mask, however, feels sturdier than the Scorpion helmet. It's thicker and it has less give. The other thing is the helmet only comes with a black eye shield. But the, uh, I ordered uh, the clear version, so it's only an additional $13. This is how the front mask removes. And you can see that this doesn't really give. It has a vent here, or this is closed, this is open. It also has uh, ventilations here for opening and closing, right about here. So that's the three DOT helmets that I have, and which do you think I favor the most? I'll give you some time to think about it. Alright, if you thought it's the ILM helmet, then your detective skills are spot on. Was it the GoPro mount that gave it away? Uh, I'm just too lazy to remove it for the video, honestly. I'm probably returning the Scorpion helmet at half the price. Uh, this helmet performs and looks just the same as a Scorpion helmet. If not, it's even lighter. And I really like, like the fact that the front, plates, the front plate is very sturdy, so it adds a little bit of protection. And at the same time, it, pro it's, it provides like a flat enough uh, surface to where I can mount my GoPro. This has held up pretty well on my rides. Uh, I'm still testing it around, but I like, I like it so far. I can't wait for my GoPro 9. It'll definitely upgrade all my videos. So that's, that's in the making. As for the One Storm helmet, I'm gonna give this to my wife. Um, she's eventually gonna get her e-bike. It's also on pre-order, and this would be really useful for her. So this is a keeper. So basically, for the price of a Scorpion helmet, you can get two helmets. Right? Why not? Alright guys, in comparison, all of the three DLT helmets that I have uh, feels just about the same. Uh, in terms of ventilation, they're all pretty much the same. I don't feel any other hotter than the other. Uh, except this one does fog up a little more because uh, you can just see it has less ventilation than the three fourth helmets. That's the only real thing that I noticed and this is the lightest one that I have as well. These two guys are bulkier and hence heavier. Well guys, I hope you find this video helpful in choosing an e-bike helmet. Please like and subscribe to support our channel. And uh, Lakers in 5. Nice and sturdy.